everyone my name is mini say t i hope you all are staying healthy today we are going to talk about prior discrimination in monopoly prior discrimination is a situation where seller charges different prices from different customer for same product prior discrimination is a situation where seller charges different prices from different customer for same product For example, customer who is buying airline tickets before many month in advance will pay less, but customer who is buying at last minute will pay more. So here you can see seller is charging different prices from different customer for same product. It will be called price discrimination. There are mainly three degrees of price discrimination: first, second, and third. First of all, we will see first degree price discrimination. first degree price discrimination means when seller charges maximum price that consumer is willing to pay first degree price discrimination means when seller charges maximum price that consumer is willing to pay that's why in case of first degree price discrimination consumer surplus is zero as we know consumer surplus is difference between maximum price consumer willing to pay minus actual price of the product for example maximum price consumer willing to pay is 8 and actual price is 4 difference between 8 and 4 is 4 4 will be called consumer surplus but in case of first degree price discrimination consumer surplus is zero because actual price is equal to maximum price that consumer is willing to pay and first degree price discrimination is possible in case of bidding as we know in case of bidding as much as consumer are willing to pay accordingly prices become higher so in case of first degree price discrimination consumer surplus is zero usually some surplus goes to producer and some goes to consumer in this diagram you can see k a c this part goes to producer surplus and a d c this part goes to consumer surplus but in case of first degree price discrimination consumer surplus is zero no consumer surplus all surplus goes to producer means this whole part k d c belong to producer surplus in case of first degree price discrimination second degree price discrimination second degree price discrimination means where seller charges different prices for different quantities second degree price discrimination means where seller charges different prices for different quantities for example quantity discount in which seller provide special offer to those customer who buy in bulk but no discount for customer who buy only single product for example buy two and get one offer will be called second degree price discrimination now we'll see diagram of second degree price discrimination x axis quantities y axis price marginal revenue curve demand curve marginal cost curve average cost curve here you can see as we are increasing quantities of product price is reducing as we are increasing quantities of product price is reducing because seller is giving quantity discount if you buy more you have to pay less if you buy less then you have to pay more that's why as we are increasing quantities price is reducing but seller cannot charge price below to op because op price is equal to average cost if seller will charge price less than average cost then obviously he will bear loss that's why seller cannot charge price below to op third degree price discrimination third degree price discrimination is pricing strategy where a monopoly divide market into different customer group based on their age gender and location and charge different price from each customer group third degree price discrimination is pricing strategy where a monopoly divide market into different customer group based on their age location and gender and charge different price from each customer group for example theater may divide movie goers into three customer group like senior adult and children and each is paying different price while watching the same movie now we understand third degree price discrimination with the help of this diagram now suppose monopoly divide market into two customer group based on their location location a here demand is very inelastic that means if prices increase demand will not reduce so much that's why in this market seller is charging higher price op 
location B demand is very elastic. That means in this location, if prices increase, demand will reduce so much. That's why in this location, prices are very low. Seller is charging only OP1 price. And this diagram shows a joint equilibrium of both market A and B. Here you can see initially marginal revenue is uh, very inelastic. After that it become elastic. Similar initial average revenue is very inelastic. After that it become elastic because this diagram shows joint equilibrium of both market. Is our final equilibrium point at this equilibrium point you can see marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost and firm achieve this equilibrium point by equating marginal revenue from both market. Total output produced by firm is equal to OQ3 in which OQ1 output firm is selling in location A at higher price OP because here demand is very inelastic. And remaining OQ2 output form is selling in location B at lower price OP1 because here demand is very elastic. And this diagram shows joint equilibrium of both market and is our final equilibrium point. So here you can see monopoly charging different prices for same product in different location. So this is all about price discrimination. I think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video. Bye. Take.